Hey everyone, I'm the Collins Creatures. Today I'm back at the Crazy Frog Lady store to check out one of the frogs that I met at my store tour video. And that species of frog is the Andean marsupial tree frog. The scientific name of the Andean marsupial tree frog is Gastrotheca riobamba. They are endemic to Ecuador and their range is limited to the Andean mountains and inter-Andean valleys. Their habitat can vary from montane forests rocky hillsides, agave groves, and cornfields, and they live at very high altitudes of 7,200 to 11,500 feet above sea level. They are a small species of tree frog that only gets to around two inches long. They are light green and brown in coloration with a cream-colored belly. And the females have a pouch on their back they use to carry their eggs, and that is why they're called marsupial tree frogs. These frogs are nocturnal, and they mostly move around by crawling, though they can, of course, jump. And that's why I switched frogs, because the last one was very jumpy. And just to note, this one is a male, because as you can see, it does not have a pouch. So now that we're going to be talking about their reproduction, which is the most special part about them, I got another female out, so let's talk about it. This one's not quite as pretty, but you, as you can see, it does have the pouch. When the female's laying eggs, the males will, will catch them and fertilize them, and then he will place them into the female's pouch, where she will carry the eggs until they hatch into tadpoles, where she will then release them into the water, and then the tadpoles will develop in the, will stay in the water until they metamorphosize into frogs. And finally, in the wild, their diet consists of insects and other invertebrates. So now let's go into the captive care. These frogs are not easy to find and they're not cheap either, but this is how you would take care of them. Now there's not that much information about their captive care, so I have two sources. I have Crazy Frog Ladies set up in her store, as well as an online article. Let's start with the enclosure in the store. While Crazy Frog Lady has not been quite successful in getting them to breed just quite yet, she has been successful in getting them to live healthily. So this is her enclosure. There is a drainage layer at the very bottom, and there is a very absorbent soil substrate. And then on the surface, there is moss and a big water dish that's always filled with fresh water. There is lots of plants like this creeping jew. There is a stick, there's a piece of cork bark. There is this bowl the frogs like to sit in. The frogs are actually all in the back because I think that it's more moist back there because they do like their humidity. And on the top, there is a light that is mostly there for a day-night cycle, as well as to give the plants light. My second source is the article from the Quito Zoo in Ecuador, where they were actually successful in getting these frogs to breed in very large numbers. And this is what the article entailed. Once the tadpoles were raised into juvenile frogs, they were kept in glass enclosures that were measured 120, cent 120 by 40 by 50 centimeters. These terrariums are fitted with bromeliads, plant stems, leaves, and have a mesh top cover that allows for natural UV exposure from the sun. The enclosures were kept at very high humidities of 90%. And these frogs were fed three times a week with a varied diet based on insects and other invertebrates, consisting of two species of crickets, mealworms, adults, and the larvae of the wa wax moth of Abaja, sow bugs, also known as isopods, and two earthworm species. So in captivity, a diet can be provided from readily available feeders. So the Andean marsupial tree frog is a very unique species of frog, probably the most unique species of frog that I've ever met because of that pouch. And it would be really interesting and awesome to see people be able to successfully breed them outside of Ecuador. And the reason I think it's so difficult for people to breed them outside of Ecuador is because they are not at such a high elevation. 
So that is the Andean marsupial tree frog. I like to thank Sarah, the crazy frog lady, for allowing me to use her Andean marsupial tree frogs in my video. And I hope you enjoyed watching the video and learned a lot about these really awesome frogs. I learned a lot while I was researching for this video. And thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I will see you next time on Colin's Creatures.